All right, welcome back to what is hopefully four consecutive wins, and would really like to not be one immediate loss. Uh, I've had mixed success with this life gain deck so far. Um, I think I do want to take the call of the Death Dweller out. Um, we're running a white black life gainy sort of thing. Um, stab wound maybe more removal. We got run over last game by uh, efficient creatures. More kill spells would have been good, but we kind of just played right into all of their stuff. They had just enough mana to kill our creature while putting another creature on the board, uh, which is basically the end of the game for us. Uh, that vicious or voracious hydro play was was the end of it. Um, I almost think that Splendor Mare would be a better option, though, in that case. Creature that life blinks. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Still a bell haunt. I still like it. Still like it. I think I like it over the Blade Juggler. I'm assuming we're not going to run into uh, another scenario where we don't have enough white or black mana. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap out one slump for a planes. Seven seems a little low. We put us at eight and nine. No. No, this is right. We need the blacks. If we don't have two swamps, then our deck's not going to do much, because most of our threats are double black. Maybe we drafted poorly. Maybe I should have focused all in on black. I don't think I would have gotten the life source, the light gain sources, though, without white. Hmm. No, I'm all getting... Suddenly wish I kept. Alright, so Savage Gorger's too far off. I'll do Soul Warden. I haven't used Soul Warden yet. I don't know how effective it would be. It really needs the blood set out of the, the area list in order to work. Um, but maybe we'll get some uh, some life gain in. No, it's not lifelink yet. For some reason I keep thinking it's a uh, lifelinky. Dias deals two damage to a creature or oh man, it's it's any creature. So good. Alright, well, we can't really swing with the Soul Warden. I mean I guess we could. Could we? I'm gonna. Yeah, he'll he'll take that trade. Uh because I've just got a 3-3 three, three here. That's gonna be a 4-4. Four, four. And then we're going to draw a Swamp and just attack with a 4-4 every turn. Great. Perfect. This is... Thanks, I hate it. Uh, we're going to lose this game. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. This Brontodon is going to hit us for 3 and then destroy our Shadow Spear. Can I block with the Sh uh, Splendor Mare? This Kingpin's useless without... This Kingpin's useless without a... Uh... Oh, he didn't attack. Interesting. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Um... So if I attack right now, I get nothing, right? I'm just going to go Piper. He may not destroy the Shadow Spear this turn. And if he doesn't, the moment he taps out, I can Mortify the Thrashing Brontodon. I think is a, a good trade for me. Let's see how greedy he gets. Uh, and I didn't attack because it wouldn't have done any damage if he would have just blocked, destroyed the Shadow Spear, and no longer have Trample. Uh, I just don't get anything for the attack. Now I can prevent Krenko from attacking, or at least force him to use a combat trick. Yeah, he went for it. Unfortunately, there goes our Shadow Spear. Uh, no way to get it back. Goes for a 5 drop.
Okay. Just gonna get a bunch of goblin tokens. Um, I don't know. I don't think I actually, uh, I don't think I actually... Oh, he didn't. Oh. This is an instant, right? So I can kill his Krenka right now. His power. Or I could kill his Rish car. He's tapped out. Oath of Kaya kills. What are a bunch of 1 1 tokens to him? He's obviously got some pretty big stuff with that greater sandworm. I'm kind of surprised he cycled it too. Um, I think maybe I should have attacked first and see if he went for a double block, which would have allowed me to Erebus Intervention get a two for one. Uh, the double block, I don't know, would have been just in case. I don't think there would have been a reason to do a double block. Okay, Rada is quite strong. Doesn't have the mana to kill it right now. He just spends his whole turn, then Rada becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a 9-9. Nine, nine. I mean, I could take 9 damage. Yeah, I'll pass. Uh, I would like to make a rat instead. If he spends his whole turn making Rada big, then maybe I just Erebus' Intervention or Mortify. No blocks. I think I would go for the Mortify in case he has a combat trick. Yeah, you got it. Three is no problem. Let's make a rat. Ooh, Dracuseth, problem. That's a good reason to have a Mortify. Yeah. We'll just kill it. We're gonna have to eat some damage from Rada. But we'll make another rat, and... We've been gaining a bunch of life, so hopefully it's okay. He's got a bunch of stuff. Each opponent, okay. That's fine. Spell or an ability, okay. Right, still didn't take too much damage. Almost forgot. Okay, so we kill Rada now, right? And then I take a bit of damage. And then I gain control of his Thorn Lieutenant. Thorn Lieutenant seems like a bad choice. I gain control of his Rada? Doesn't have Trample. So I kill the Thorn Lieutenant, one, two, three, four. I don't have, well, maybe I do. I've got six mana total. I need four, five, six. I would take a hit from Rada and that, which is pretty bad. Or I could kill the Fanatic. Taking Rada is actually pretty bad too. I don't like how either of these options go. Hmm. So 
I think I wait for him to pump. And if he doesn't pump anything, then I don't kill anything. If he has a combat trick right now, then I believe we lose. He doesn't. We gain life. We don't die. We're gonna get to Piper. Yeah, that's better than tough block. One to each creature and planeswalker. All right. We're down to the top decks. I presume he has something in his hand. Oh, but we we draw like a boss. Uh, I'm gonna play this in case uh, he doesn't have any discard. Yeah, should have kept it in my hand just in case. All right, he gets uh, a bunch of big stuff. It's very bad. Yeah, this guy is really prepared for the end game, I guess. We played a. I don't think we played too slowly. I think we did this about right. He's not a dragon, is he? What thirsty aerialist? Okay. So if I swing, yeah, I'll just go like that. Is it a trap? Also, I'm a moron, because this should have been in play. I don't know what I was thinking. Flopped that hard. Um, I don't think there's a card that saves us. I think we just lose. I feel like that was our best case scenario there. Pacifism on the uh, the dragon to attack in. Is that even? That lets me draw a card. This is a terrible situation. too much damage. Not dead this turn, but we're not winning. Opponent plays it very carefully. Makes sense. In case I have anything crazy. Which I don't. Uh, so he swings with two four fours and a five five. I block a four four and take, yeah, way too much damage. I think a veto might have done me some good here. Um, are we going to do some dumb shenanigans? Not with Clothis, I think we just lose then, don't we? If he swings all out. He doesn't swing all out. <sighs> yeah. This buys us some time. Clothis might be able to work some magic. Or, uh, Healer's Hawk might be able to work some magic. Azure's Acolyte. Okay. 
Um... Oh, I didn't get any life. Uh, did I? What would have gained me life? I thought I heard the sound effect, but I don't. I don't think so. Um, so I can swing. No, can't really swing with anything. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can get exceptionally greedy. How greedy. Oh, it doesn't have lifelink. This is an entire waste. I'm, I made so many mistakes this game. He needs to triple block. Okay. He did. Uh, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I thought it had lifelink, which is why I was getting greedy. It doesn't. I'm not good at this game. Goodbye, aerialist. Didn't need more stuff. Kind of needed him not to have things. So. Jump block there. Get rid of this one. Yeah, sure, let's draw. Veto. A little late. Um, so I can swing for six damage. If any of these are relevant enough, that chump blocks, I guess. Oh, I have no flyers, so if he just swings in the air, then I lose, right? Well, let's see if he just swings in the air. No reason not to. I can just concede now. I messed this one up bad. The Clothis was a very good and probably would have ended up killing me anyways, but no, I messed up. Nice swings. Okay. Uh, in that case, I still messed up. I'm just going to concede. Shame concede. Uh, so I could have activated lifelink and dealt five more damage to him by uh, blocking, uh, which would have kept me alive one more turn, but I wouldn't have been able to kill him on the backswing, so I don't think it mattered. Um, that was fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the next draft. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start another one of these, and we'll just uh, continue next week. Oh, not play. Tinker's Cube draft. You guys can watch this draft since that was... A bit of a long match, but not a successful one. To go again. That's too bad I like that deck. Maybe I'll end up just drafting it again. I tend to gravitate towards black, white, and drafts, as I'm sure everyone's noticed if you've seen any of our 
draft videos. Uh, so maybe I'll try something a little more sneaky. That was a very tall deck on his side. I can't imagine that that works that often, because there's some aggressive, aggressive stuff. Maybe we'll just try and go super aggressive. Like all the red creatures. We'll see what's open. All right, Path of Bravery. This is an old card. Let's see. As long as your life total is greater than or equal to starting, everyone gets plus one. When you attack, gain life heals number of attacking creatures. Okay. Soul Scar Mage. Oh, this is a good one. Damage is minus one, minus one counters, and it's got prowess for a one one or a one mana one two. Bunch of lands. Grateful Apparition was very good for us. Silver Smoke Ghoul. That's pretty neat. I bet that works really well. Crackling Drake. Good card. Um, Battlement is protection and ramp. Indrik fights when it comes in. Six mana, it's a lot. Sexual Mask is auras. Silent Departures. I'm going to take the Soul Scar Mage. We're going to see if we can make red work. Banefire, that's nice. Lava Axe as well. Oh, that's just your creatures. Still good. Um, I don't know, is there a lot of self discard? Uh, Sigil. I could see Sigil being pretty good in this format, too. There's a lot of good token generators. Um, but we're we're going to stick with the Banefire and see if we can cut off red. Uh, Emery gets artifacts. Could be pretty good. Water Knot. Enters tap creature, doesn't untap. Okay. I'm down with that. Spellgurge are weird. Cathartic Reunion. Curious Obsession. Probably goes really well on the Soul Scar Mage. Got a bit of a strategy here so far. Just need some like shock and stuff. Rada. 3 3 first strike is not bad for attacking. Uh, Supreme Will could be good for our deck. Counterspell, I think a little less good. Um, Merfolk Skydiver. I think we'll go for this sort of instance strategy, see if we can pick up some more prowess. Okay, I feel like red's actually getting cut here. We haven't found a lot of good reds. Uh, this is a bit of a warning sign, so we'll keep an eye out. Uh, timely reinforcements, gain life, fear creatures gain tokens. I mean, there's a lot of white getting past. We'll consider it. It's a good control card. Maybe we'll get some white flyers and just go evasion with a curious obsession sort of thing. Tone Blade Paladin, gain life, double strike, that's quite strong. Um, enthralling hold, uh, tapped thing you get, body double, copy of any card in graveyards. I don't think I like that as much. Let's go with the Celebrant. We'll see if I'm still holding on to this red dream. Uh, red white, gain life equal to greatest power, create a dinosaur token. I mean, just dinosaur every turn is nice. Um, does X damage, they can't block. Okay. I mean, maybe we Look to the go red-white? We don't have the life gain for that. Red-blue, chamber sentry. Remove uh, counters, deals damage to targets. Hard to deal with. Take the hippocamp. We've got some options. I think there's enough picks in this sort of draft where you can play around with this idea. And maybe we can pick up uh, some lands to get a three color. Not sure. And there's the three colors. Grateful, Apparition. We don't have counters yet. I think Silent Departure is better. I don't really want to be in white, do I? I'd rather do this kind of spelly thing. 
It's too bad that one's not an instant. But flashback's really nice. I need some aggressive creatures. <laughs> I'm looking at my deck right now. I've got three. Anointer Priest is not really aggressive. Oh, sweet. I'll take a Perilous Mirror. That'll... That'll do. Let's see about that Crackling Drake's not going to wheel. I don't remember what pick it was in, but I'm... Unlikely I'll see it back. All right, Emery will find us a Perilous Mirror, and that's about it. Might find some more stuff. Cathartic Reunion. Discard to draw. Could get that lightning axe. Let's take Emery. Pride of Conquerors instant. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet. I'll take it. I don't think I'm gonna play it. I haven't played with Ascend very much. I feel like it's easier to turn on than I always think. The one time I played Ascend, I think I was playing the green creature that makes a token every upkeep, including theirs, and then gave all your stuff, like, plus two, plus two. Oh, that was bonkers. Um, Ozolith. We don't have counters yet. Sentinel's Eyes. Okay. Maybe Ozolith would have been a good choice. Sure. This is a weird deck. I feel like it's going to have mana issues. I feel like it has... No, well, I don't know. Ooh, We're not playing green. To seeing you running away. Thassa. It's probably good. Nicol Bolas. We're blue-red. We could switch to black and just play Nicol Bolas. It's really good. It's a very strong card. Shacklegeist. Dracoseth. There's our shock. I mean, we can put it, just find some more of those Forbidden Friendships and go for, like, a... I don't know. Just don't know. I'm going to go with a Shacklegeist. Aggression creatures. Chillbringer is really nice. All right, I think that seals it. We'll play Sky Knight, uh, Sky Guard Vanguard, Sky Knight Vanguard. We'll do, we'll do this uh, Jeskai sort of thing. Mesmerizing Benthid, Sky Tether, Very Vandal. When you draw your second card, I don't know if we've got. Okay, Dragon Fodder is good. There's a lot of good stuff actually. It's a tough one. There's a lot of good stuff here. Even this Rage Hound's a decent plan. Benthid is. I don't know. I feel like it's good in limited, but I don't know if it's good in this cube. Fairy Vandal. We can try and find some card draw. We don't really have any right now, though. Whatever. Small creatures. It's small creature aggro. Okay, this is going to make it for card draw. Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. I need a bunch of these cards. Iron Crag's sweet, though. Three damage to any target. All I got to do is draw cards. Illusory. Can't be blocked except by spirits. Uh, I think that's the pick, although Conclave's not bad. It seems like we have the creatures. Deckhand. Alright, Fibblethip draws a card. Micaeus is an insane card. Oh, jeez. How are all these cards so good? Alright, 
don't think Fibblethip is the best card. I think my Chaos is the best card. I played with my Chaos before and it's pretty dumb good. And with a bunch of other small creatures, it will add up quickly. So now we're basically looking for like opt, cheap cycling, like that that mill that added cycle for blue. I'd play that. Um, I don't know about Whatley. I think Emery is actually going to go out. Uh, Ranger of Eos gets us Mycaeus and Soulscar Mage. And maybe other stuff. I mean, getting Mycaeus on its own is really good. Neutralize is also good. Storm Tamer. Very good. Maybe it'll wheel. Thassa's Oracle, nah. Spectral Sailor, yes. Heroic Reinforcements, very good for us. Spectral Sailor, though, gets us a card draw every time that we want to trigger Pyromancer. And we can get it with Ranger of Aos. And we can go ahead... This doesn't draw it, right? Yeah. We can go ahead and take this Aspirant. And of all the cards. Chillbringer, Tactician. I don't think I'm going to get the Tactician for the double white. Chillbringer top end, maybe? Uh, I think Enthralling Hold is out. Try to course. Draw two cards, then discard a card unless I attack this turn. I mean, I'm going to be doing that, so... Maybe. Or Kazmina. We'll take Kazmina, that seems more fun. Protects my stuff, draws cards. Prove yourself. Um, we're not gonna play any of these. Tolerance Invocation. I don't think we're playing Tolerance Invocation. Compelling Argument came back. Or we can play a hasty creature. And if it wasn't kicked, sack it. Yeah, I think I think there's a chance I'll play that. Opt! I didn't even know Opt was in this format. I didn't think it was. How delightful. Uh, so we got Curiosity, which is great. Raise the alarm, not bad. Uh, Forsake the World, we might be... Actually, <laughs> this is weird, but I think I'm actually going to play Forsake the World, we... It's got cycling, which I was just talking up. And then exiling enchantments and artifacts is pretty cool. Over curiosity, no less. It's a weird deck. Alright, Skycat Sovereign. Seems good. Face Fetters is pretty good. Draw two cards or cycles. Very good. Um, interesting. Draw cards and discard. Quasi duplicate. Can make another Iron Crag. Hilarious. Can make a Soul Scar Mage. I'll try anything. All right, let's get um, get this out of here. I don't. I don't know what what I'm gonna do with this deck. There's too many good cards. Spell bomb. No. Nope, don't like these. Enters, deals two damage to target player or planeswalker. Sounds, sounds pretty sweet. Forbidden Friendship gives us tokens. It's good with my chaos. It's good with Soul Scar Mage. Or we could just play Vanishing Light. It's a good card. Very safe. Um, I think I need to consider I think Unsummon is the most likely I need to consider some duels though if I find them in this pack I would be well advised to pick them I think I missed all of them though I think the window of opportunity there is closed all right, Prince Charming is pretty good. That Scry is sweet. Good body. Callous Dismissal is very fun. 
of like the getting the plus one plus one or the one one zombie. Pride mate's not exactly right here. There goes sure strike. That's a good combat trick. Cutthroat. Do I have? I don't think I have enough instants to make Cutthroat really good. I think I'd rather have Empyrean because we've got a lot of flyers. Pretty much all of our cards are flyers. No, maybe not. Maybe not all of them or many of them. We have a good number of flyers. I also got a good number of things I need to cut. Uh, Baron would be sweet if it weren't double blue, and I think for that reason I actually need to cut this quasi duplicate as fun as that is. Um, this is a good opportunity to pick up one of those dual lands. These are all good cards, but I think uh, we'll be better served getting some mana fixing. I'd rather have the untap than the scry, so we'll take Sulfur Falls. Uh, I think we take out Flotley. Sarah Ascendant. I'm not going to play. We're not going to get there with that. Um, Prophetic Prism's not bad. Thrill of Possibility, also good. I think I actually like the Prism here. Over Castle of Antris, I guess. Sure. White Red Dual Land always comes in tapped. It's probably the pick. Gutter Snipe. Infuriate. Oh, man. I just make a 60 card deck. I'm going to take the fixing. We have too many good cards already. It's another cycler. There's a lot of cycling. Maybe there's a good cycling deck to be made here. I don't think I'm playing any of these. I think they're fine. I just don't think I'm playing them. Uh, most likely to play the Pyromancer, but I think that's also a no. Here, the Nyxborn's pretty cool, but I think that's also a no. Charming Prince? I'll, I'll think about Charming Prince. Cranko or Threnody? <laughs> Alright, so that's one of our combat tricks is a Threnody. And we get a land. All worked out. That was a very good last pack. I've got to make some tough cuts here. I don't know how this is going to work. Alright, Tolerance Invocation, get out. Skizik might get out. Hippocamp, get out. Uh, timely Reinforcements. I mean, we went spammy. It's a very good card for control, but I think yeah, I think it gets out. Uh, let's see. seven. Yeah, 17 lands is good. Um, sure Strike. Get Perilous Mirror out. We don't need the artifacts anymore. Um... See, Charming Prince. Do we have any good enter the battlefield effects? Not really. Ranger of Aos is our good one. Yeah. Get out, Charming Prince. You're a good card. We don't have time for just good cards. You gotta be the best card. Um, unsummon out. Unfortunately. I like Unsummon. A lot. The rest of these are all really good. Man, Fairy Vandal with a Curious Obsession on it. That's sweet. The Aspirant, I think, is a great pick from uh, Ranger of Aos. Yeah, I think that stays. It has Trample, so I like it. I think Kazmina is good for our deck. Empyrean Eagle, is this too bad? Do we have enough flyers? We got one, two, three flyers at the... Uh, four flyers at the two drops. And two in the one drops. I think it's good enough. Yeah, let's take it out. I 
think Pride's good. Which might be Sure Strike that we take out. Might actually be Threnody Singer, actually. I'm gonna go with this. Alright, we'll be playing some Jeskai Aggro uh, in the next episode. It should be up on a Monday. Uh, yeah, a Monday, so we'll see you next week.